Are you ready for the best talk radio out there? Ladies and gentlemen, now time I am. for the Katie and Lester show. You are now tuned into MDA 6:32 a.m. This is Unmasked Radio. We don't just listen, we speak your mind and then some. We are here with all the best top stories. My daily agenda. It's the Lester and Katie show. Sports, weather and traffic. This is Unmasked Radio. Hello, this is Lester Get speaking. with it, guys. Time is ticking. Why don't you just leave it to the professionals? It's now time for the Katie and Lester show. Caller, go ahead. You're on the air. Are you guys ever going to talk about aliens on your show? Do you have a problem with the oldest profession in the world? I think we should all be on a plant-based diet, not just the animals. If the states are not flat, how could the world be flat? Okay, you guys, you are on the air in 10 seconds. I tell you what, Katie. Them leftovers are starting to make silent sounds in my slacks right now. We are live on the air. Well, before we get started, how are you doing today, Katie? I'm doing really good. Boy, I tell you, was the weekend crazy or is it just me? How about yourself? How are you doing today, Lester? I'm doing good, not too bad. Other than that crazy football game and my car getting towed over the weekend. I can't believe the Kansas City Chiefs won another Super Bowl. I can't believe I lost my gun collection to Bruce. Luckily, I only have to hand over the ones that are registered. How many guns did you lose? I'm going to have to do a recount. But I'm pretty sure it's around 324 firearms, Katie. It was 325, Lester. Whatever, Bruce. I'm sure I'll get my gun collection back when we bet on who wins the Stanley Cup this year. Oh yeah, it's going to be fun taking that new Harley Davidson and those dirt bikes from you. Well, one day I will own that houseboat of yours and them jet skis you never use. Then I'm coming for that pinball collection. Okay, guys. That's enough. So tell me why did your car get towed, Lester? Apparently, I was parked in a handicapped spot at my friend Luke's apartment complex. I thought it would be no problem since they were all empty. You want to know the funny part, Katie? That's the third time this year, and it's only February. Shut up, Bruce. So what did you do this weekend, Katie? I went to Steve's Super Bowl party. Steve who? The hair and makeup guy? I didn't know he was having a Super Bowl party. He sure did. I'm guessing you have never been to his place before. I haven't. It's probably because I don't take too fondly to his kind. What do you mean by his kind? I mean he doesn't eat seafood or drink hard liquor. Oh, I thought you meant because he's gay. What? Are you telling me Steve is gay? I always thought Bruce was the gay one. You're close, Lester, but I'm actually bisexual. You know my father always said, Bye now. Gay later. Okay, guys, time to change the subject. Does anyone know where Brenda is today? We had to let her go. People were complaining about how poorly she was covering the weather. I thought she was finally taking her maternity leave. Nope, not quite the case. She just sucked at her job. If she had sucked in the first place, she wouldn't have ended up pregnant. I didn't know she was pregnant. I didn't even know she was married. I'm not sure how you guys do things here in the lower 48, but you probably shouldn't have fired her. Well, hell, what's another lawsuit? The music in the background is telling us we have to pay some bills. So we will take a commercial break really fast, and we'll be right back. And stay tuned in, because later we will also be answering questions from callers. You won't want to miss that. We are here with all the best top stories. My daily agenda. It's the Lester and Katie Show. Sports, weather, and traffic. This is Unmasked Radio. Hello, this is Lester Get with it, guys. Time is ticking. While leading scientists are explaining why body language is at a standstill, well, I would have to agree. That's why I'm here today. I've been on many blind dates, and even though scientists are correct, I have sold out several stadiums across the country. Talking about my new book called Don't Give Up Even After the Fact. Now you, along with everyone listening, can download it for free. That's right, for free. Just sign up for my peanut brittle one-year free trial, and I will also throw in a free bathrobe and a three-inch keychain. You know what? I've never done this before, but... For the first 10,000 people to sign up, I will give each and every one of you a free squeeze ball. Just email me at nomoreblinddates.yoursocialsecurity number. And please don't forget to send a photo ID. Are you ready for the best talk radio out there? Ladies and gentlemen, I know now time I am. for the Katie and Lester show. You are now tuned into MDA 632 AM. This is Unmasked Radio. On okay, we are back. Time for some news. Are you ready, Katie? I am, Lester. Let's do it. Apparently, a man who was tied up with an extension cord is now suing the head coach of the high school he once went to. Police chase ends in crossfire with two police officers shooting each other in the ass. Looks like a couple of assholes are going to need a desk job. Some scientists are saying chewing on a toothpick after eating a cold cut could raise your blood pressure. Okay, Katie. Your son might get a kick out of this one. 
So this inner city gangbanger fainted all because he saw rainbow trout teeth for the first time. Okay, ladies. A $1,500 airport bar tab left one desperate woman still thirsty. We can't say the same for the drunk man who missed his flight. Woman claims Ricky lost her number way before the hit song, Ricky Don't Lose That Number. Cartel is suspected of leaving two maracas at the crime scene. Several mariachis are now being questioned. A man performing at a comedy show was booed off stage after getting slapped by his ventriloquist doll. He later said, It was a bad night for me. All of my props were malfunctioning. You know, Lester, I'm not really into prop comics all that much. Is that because your ex-husband is a dummy? I bet you always woke up to Morningwood. Am I allowed to say that on the air, Bruce? Yeah, we'll just pretend you guys are talking about golf clubs or something. I'm not going to answer that, Lester. I will say he needed to work on his oral skills a bit. And his mouth didn't move as fast as I would have liked it to. Oh, yeah. I've known a few women who couldn't stop talking. There was this one time when this chick's teeth fell out, but that didn't really count because she was still mumbling. Oh, my God, Lester. Let me guess. You kept drinking and were picturing her 21-year-old daughter later that night. First of all, her daughter was 19. But she was into women, so I pictured one of my old therapists that was helping me work on some eating habits at the time. Eating habits? Are you telling us you're not good at oral either? Your sister didn't seem to have any complaints. Well, all right, Katie, time to take a few calls. If anyone has any questions or comments, we do have some open lines. You're on the Katie and Lester show caller. Go ahead. Hey, Katie and Lester. I was wondering if either of you had any good movie recommendations. I just can't seem to find anything because there's so much to choose from anymore. A great documentary you should check out is called Around the Next Bend. My movie recommendation would have to be The Man Who Wasn't There or A Simple Plan. Well, all I watch is The Sopranos and Alaskan Bush people on repeat, so I won't be much help on this one. I have a quick question for Katie. What's your favorite type of food? That's a tough choice. It's a toss-up between a good steak and baked potato or sushi. Just one more thing. Are you guys doing any giveaways soon? If Bruce allows it for the budget, we will be bringing back giveaways for caller number 10. Thanks for the call. Okay, next caller, you're on the Katie and Lester show. Go ahead. Am I live on the air? Am I caller number 10? No, you dipstick. I just said we don't have it in our budget to do giveaways. Next caller. Yeah, I'm looking for a uh, Katie Russell. That's me. Go ahead, caller. Hey, Katie. I'm calling from NRA Fitness. Uh, we found a gym bag with your contact card attached. Uh, unfortunately, the contents were scattered across the parking garage, but I was able to retrieve mm, a bra, one bottle of lotion, three tampons, and uh, looks like one red bottom high heel. But I'll have it here for you later at the front desk if you'd like to come and retrieve it. Thank you so much. I'll come pick that up tomorrow. I don't know who's screening our calls, but I would have preferred to take that one off air. Sorry about that, Katie. I was distracted looking over applications for a new weather girl. Okay, that's all the time we have for today. Thanks for tuning in to the Katie and Lester Show. Join us again next week for all the best coverage in news, sports, and weather. Are you ready for the best talk radio out there? Ladies and gentlemen, I know now time I am. for the Katie and Lester Show. You are now tuned into MDA 632 AM. This is Unmasked Radio.